Ken Howard versus Robert Durbin, final number 176116 DMs. Show cause here in regards to both parties. Both things raise your right. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in this case is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you guide? Yes. Cool. Your Honor, uh, the firm report received a complaint on December 21st, 2023, uh, from Ms. Howard regarding a complaint of violation of the negative communication provisions by Mr. Durbin. Um, half those messages, as well as screenshots, were attached to the show cause motion. Um, after reviewing those messages, as well as the order uh, from <coughs> Most recent order from June 27, 2022, uh, the show cause was scheduled against Mr. Durbin for violating the negative or degrading comments uh, provision of the communication order. Uh, but further looking at the app post messages, Your Honor, um, and looking at that order a little bit more in detail, there is a provision in that same order that states the parties utilize app post. Uh, for purposes of non-emergency communication, which they were. <coughs> but it also said, states that said communication shall be limited to parenting time exchanges only until further order of the court. And after reviewing those messages, part of the show cause was against them, both parties as well for that portion of the provisions as the conversations were not uh, regarding uh, exchanges only. Let us stand as your honor currently with this show cause. Okay, thank you. Well, I, I read, I read the app post conversations. Stuck in meth residue all day because of you. Falls. I'm sorry, Your Honor, I forgot to mention to you. This show caused was the violation <coughs> in case provision is a second and subsequent show. I didn't see that too. For both or just one? Both. Both. <coughs> horrible people end up getting what they deserve. You're a horrible person. I hope you suffer as much as your dad did. Enjoy your Jerry Springer Christmas party BS without the child this year. Folks, when is this going to stop? Hopefully, Pardon me? hopefully soon. How about now? I'm trying, sir. How about you, sir? What I said was out of order, and I apologize to you and Ms. Howard. But it's, it's not apologies to the court. The court understands the frustration going on amongst or between parents. But this is the child we're talking about. Are we not? Yeah, and she doesn't deserve that. No, she doesn't. From both of you. I'm sorry. What does she not deserve? The communication between the two of you that has nothing to do with parenting time exchanges and is just a chance of one person to point at the other person and to continue to cause problems. And guess who sees that? The child. Now, the child may not see the messages, but the child gets, I mean, We've got to give children a little extra credit. <laughs> when they see and hear things going on, it affects them. There's no justification or excuse by either of you for this. I find you both in contempt. Is there anything you'd like to say, Miss, first, before the court imposes disposition? Uh, I've been trying to go parent, and every time I do, it just turns into a toxic debate. So I don't know what else to do besides file my complaint from here. Right. Sir, how about you? I'm going to say it, Ms. Howard decided. Hey, don't use the child's name, please. I'm sorry, my daughter. From me on my weekend and my holiday, I texted Mr. Holman. He told me the only thing I can do is report, and we can figure out makeup time. But there's no way to make up Christmas morning. If I decided not to give one, that was my when it was Miss Howard's parenting time. I'm sorry, my daughter. I would have cops at my house. I I think my um, consequences would be much worse than what's gonna instead of just makeup time. Um, well, this is not a makeup time motion. This is a 
And I object, Your Honor, because we did have her Christmas morning. All well, we're, we're not we're not going into that. I mean, we are going into the communication. <coughs> this is a second or subsequent offense. Your Honor, Miss Howard sets the president for conduct when she totally ignores the law and just decides she can come in here and pick a day whenever she feels like to make up Christmas. I cannot make up Christmas. Well, again, this is not a motion regarding denied parenting time. This is a show cause relative to behavior of both of you in this case. I find bad faith on both parties. This is the second subsequent action. Court will order in this case, both parties pay a fine of $250 it will be due no later than February 16, 2024. In the alternative, <coughs> court will order that if, well, let, let, me, let me back this up. Court order is fine. However, I'm putting both of you on notice. One of the requirements of the court, one of the one of the sanctions the court can issue, and this is in your notice to parents, is commit the parent to the county jail. Who wants to go to the county jail now? Yeah. Sir? No, sir. Yeah. Then stop, both of you. You come back before this court on the same light of same type of issue, bring your toothbrush. We're not playing games anymore. This does not help the child situation. Follow the court orders. If at close is for parenting time exchanges only, that's it. Um, Leave your comments to yourself. Your Honor, in the second, it says order um, shall appear before court here in the county to show cause why he <coughs> was not held in contempt. And it's right. If this motion for violation of parenting time, I, I thought in here it was a motion or something for parenting time as well. No, this is alleged violation of communication provision second or subsequent. That's what's being done. Okay. That's it. Okay. Your Honor, you're making a one recommendation sure. on the file. As this is an issue that may not come before the court very frequently, but what it does is um, fairly worse than the time before. Um, I'd make a recommendation for an eight hour high conflict poker class than online. Is this what we've ordered in a previous case? Correct, there's uh, eight hours and 12 hours. I recommend um, the eight hour course. There is also a four hour course. But given they've been here before on these issues, I'd, I'd recommend the eight hour as of now. I'll order. And that's online? It's online, correct? Yes. Um, and if the parties want to just verify their email addresses with the front of the court office before they leave, um, I can email them the link of where they can take the online course. Um, and the court asked um, ordering a set time frame as to when the certificates to be presented to uh, FOC. That, that would be good. We'll make it by March 29th. Yes, we do by March 29th. Well, I don't want to see you again in this courtroom. And I don't mean to raise my voice, but by golly, this is your child we're talking about. You need to start on. right now with a clean slate. That whiteboard is clean. Let's keep it that way. It's running. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.